Hey guys, it is me again. And of course, I can't find the pen. Uh, <laughs> okay, here's my marker right in front of me. Duh. Anyway, guys, today is what Thursday, the fifteenth, uh, I think. Yep, November the fifteenth. That makes it day three twenty on our Daily Bread Project 2012. Guys, again, I'm sorry for not being here last night. Uh, believe it or not, I didn't have any technical problems last night. Uh, I just I got home from church last night, guys, and I just I didn't feel good. I don't I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, you know, one of those times when you just don't feel good. Somebody asks you, "Well, what's hurting or what's wrong with you?" and uh, you really just can't explain it. I mean, nothing's really hurting. Uh, your throat's not hurting, or you know, nothing specific is really hurting. You just kind of everything is. If that makes any sense, just kind of maybe you know. You're just kind of aching a little bit. Just don't feel good. Anyway, that's the way I felt last night. I thought I was getting sick. Thought I was getting the flu. Uh, but today, I, you know, it's it's gone. I've not, you know, not felt bad. So I don't know. Might have been a 24-hour bug. But anyway, guys, I'm sorry for not being here. But I do need to make this quick tonight. Uh, yeah, just for several reasons. Number one, it's kind of late. I've still got some stuff to do. Uh, uh, before I get to bed. But anyway, guys, uh, just normal stuff. Oh, I want to tell you all, you guys that have been uh, emailing me and stuff, uh, Stephen, I got your um, your uh, message. What was it, yesterday or day before yesterday? I don't remember when. But uh, I got it and read it. And all you guys that have emailed me and things, I, I've, I've got those. So I do appreciate you guys doing that, emailing me. And, and you know it means a lot uh, asking somebody for prayer or giving somebody a kind word or whatever it may be and then you guys that have asked for prayer I have uh, uh, you know just I've I've made a, a commitment to really uh, you know to take several times a day and pray for you so I'm trying to spit out so having said that I would like to just ask you guys to pray for me, pray for my business guys tomorrow. Um, I don't know, this week's been, it's been an odd couple weeks guys. It's one of the last couple weeks we've been busy, but the money's just not been there. We, we've had a lot of jobs that are just, those kind of jobs that you, you work hour after hour after hour on, you know, just well, like we had one this week and I, and I gotta be, uh, be quick guys, but we had a Mitsubishi this week that uh, had a strange shaking it I mean it would start jerking well we we scanned it with the computer and it showed that it had a misfire in the engine well we drove it with a scanner on it and you could see the misfire in the engine well we bring it back and pull the spark plugs out of it and the spark plugs wore out in it but the spark plug wells where they go down through the head they were also just running over with oil so that meant that the valve cover gaskets were leaking leaking letting the oil get down in there so anyway it's like a three hour job to put plugs in this SUV because you got to pull the intake off. So we done it once, cleaned everything up, had to do it again, had to do it twice to put the valve cover gaskets on it. Well then we get all that done, it fixes the misfire, but the vehicle still got a strange little shutter in it. So anyway, we had to, uh, I got, luckily I got online, got on Identifix and found that they had a problem with those from the transmission fluid being dirty, basically making the uh, torque converter shutter. So anyway, we changed the transmission fluid in it and uh, fixed it. But what I'm saying, guys, no joke, we probably worked 12 or 13 hours on this thing. I mean, over the course of two days, you know, just all the different stuff, the different checking, the different things we done, I think we charged them for three you know, it's just, we've had a lot of vehicles like that's what I'm trying to say. Vehicles that you just beat your brains in. we got one right now, a Ford truck, guys. We changed the master cylinder for the clutch on it, and we can't get it to bleed out. We cannot, I mean, I've changed several of these things, and we can't get it to, to get a good pedal. So, what I'm getting at, guys, just pray. Pray, number one, we can get that Ford done. I've got a, jo a couple jobs down there that maybe if I could get them done tomorrow would really help. You know, really help the financial situation. So just just pray for all that, guys. Um, one of my tool guys has bought out a garage that went out of business, and he's supposed to be bringing me a almost brand new transmission, the fluid flush machine. Uh, 
for, I mean, for dirt cheap. I mean, you know, it, it's going to be a really, really good deal. So, uh, just pray for that too, guys. Because I've always, I've always, to be honest, needed one of these machines. But, you know, they're just so expensive new. You know, I'm guessing three to $5,000, somewhere through there. You know, you might be able to find one a little cheaper, some kind of off-brand. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to be able to get him one for less than a thousand dollars so uh, anyway guys just just pray for all this pray that the Lord will keep keep my eyes upon him and keep blessing us you know I guess that's about it you know like I said guys I always pray tomorrow's Friday pray that the Lord will let enough stuff come in and, and uh, let things happen so that I can draw a paycheck tomorrow so having said that guys let's get on to the important thing tonight and we know of course that's the word of God so James chapter 3, starting in verse 6, is where we're going to start. So let's go. And the tongue is a fire. And of course, we left off last time talking about what damage a tongue can do, and we know that. And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. This is some strong words about your tongue, guys, and it's the truth. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening both fresh and salt water? So it's saying, can fresh water and salt water flow out of the same place? No. Can a fig tree, my brothers, bear olives or a grapevine produce figs? Neither can a salt pond yield fresh water. Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good conduct, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This is not the wisdom that comes down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder and ever vile practice. But the wisdom from above is pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Verse 18, finishing up, says, and a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. So anyway, guys, hope you got a lesson from this tonight. I sure did. Uh, good Lord willing, guys, I'll be back here tomorrow night. We'll start in James chapter 4. Uh, like I said, just normal stuff. Pray for me. Pray for business tomorrow. Pray for uh, our homecoming services this weekend, Saturday night and Sunday both. So, uh, I guess that's about it, guys. That's about all i got to say. So, like I said, just keep praying for me and my family. And I'm praying for you guys. And uh, pray for Israel. I know there's a lot going on over there right now. So, uh, i got to always pray for them. You know, that's what Dad, he's been watching it intently tonight. And I'll be honest, I'm not a big person that watches that stuff real close. Because, I mean, you know, to be honest about it, I mean, I know we should kind of keep up with that stuff. But I'm also of the, of the thing, you know. What's going to happen is going to happen, and I can't change it. So there's no use in me just sitting there, big, you know, focusing on it so intently that I just tear myself all to pieces. So, you know, all we can do is pray, you know, go to the Lord with it, and we know the Lord's going to going to work it out. So anyway, guys, like I said, if you all need anything, let me know. Uh, good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night. Until I see you all again, good night, and God bless.